Hi everybody, in this tutorial today we will uh, learn about JavaScript data types and how to write comments, okay? So, our topics today, I am writing this in between H1 tag, okay? Our topics today, comments, comments, data types, These are my topics, comments and data types in JavaScript. In JavaScript. Okay. So let me explain first how to write comment in my JavaScript code. Okay. Actually, we use JavaScript in three uh, different way in our HTML. Or uh, PSP code, so I should open my JavaScript file. Okay, this is this is my JavaScript file. This is my JavaScript document. And if I want to comment this line, then I have to use to slash. Okay, and this is belongs to now in a comment. Or if I have multiple line, it is quite similar to like C plus plus code blocks. Okay, uh, that means I have another javascript line okay and then I, if i want to comment this to line i have to just use a backslash sorry backslash and a star and a in backslash a star and a slash okay this is how we can use comments in our javascript file and then the data types of javascript okay so there are four different uh, data types in JavaScript actually. Uh, this JavaScript uh, variable can hold many and uh, data types, number, string objects, and etc. And suppose we have. Uh, so let me explain the number. Actually, as uh, as in C, C and C plus plus, we have two different types of number: integer and float. But in JavaScript, the number uh, number belong to all number contain all the types of numbers. Okay, that means if I use if I use a um, har is equal to num, I can hold to their one two or uh, har a is equal to 1.1 no problem and this number are actually actually dynamic we can dynamic dynamically allocate actually here as you can see i have already defined this num is equal to 12 i can again now define this num is equal to 1 okay. there is no problem so this is how we can define our number and for string we must for string just we have to use var s is equal to double quotation okay i am here and this is enough for a string variable okay this is enough for a string variable and uh, we can also use single quotation var a is equal to how okay we can use single quotation for a string a representing data type representation and another is boolean okay. another data type is boolean let me remove all the text here in here uh, the another data type is boolean so what is boolean uh, boolean means there are two types of boolean uh, data data types Th these are either it is true or false suppose i am writing here one is equal to is equal to two this will return false f a l a c false okay and if if i write here 4 is equal to equal to 4 that means any uh, statement uh, become true then it will return true here okay these are the boolean data types and the and the last one is object object as far as i know object in c and c plus plus 
uh, uh, object of any class have some properties and some methods like python okay so here in javascript also a object has some properties okay suppose i am defining an objects i we can define a objects like uh, like a like a variable also suppose var var x this is an objects and to define a objects we have to use curly braces okay suppose this x is a person not x i am writing here x is a person 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 type object this is a person type so there must be a fire the first name abdul and i have to use a comma here and last name last name is equal to mukim okay and i can use also multiple properties of this person type object okay so this is how we can create object and use in our program okay this is the key and this is the value so finally what we have got we have got four type of data types okay so these are what uh, these are let me write it in s in between s to tag okay these are integer string boolean and last one is objects okay you have to remain this objects because uh, in the next as uh, tutorial we will use this object a lot okay this is very important type of data types in in javascript okay there is a lot of use of this object type data so these are in these are string and boolean type object and this is quite similar to c and c++ and the and, and there is, is a little bit difference in objects okay so uh, these are the uh, these are the data types and, and these are the way to write comments so thank you for today in the next tutorial we will have some uh, new uh, category properties of javascript okay thank you for today